Back again with Opal Roberson, who is our Extension Clothing and Textile Specialist here at Iowa State University. And I think we have some rather interesting styles to show today. Oh, yes, we do, and pretty ones, too. It's important that they're pretty. If we can show some of the first ones, Pat Corey, of course, is wearing a Vera Maxwell tweed suit. Can you tell us about this suit, Opal? Well, yes, I'd like to. This is also one of the functional fashions that you've just mentioned. And it has several features, I think, that the handicapped people could use in their garments. First of all, a button down the front blouse and jacket, which is real handy, I think, for most of them. Now, uh, it also has another feature, I think, that uh, deserves special notice, and that is that a, a crop jacket. Uh, this jacket comes just above the hips of, of Pat. Uh, you'll see that uh, all wool and silk do go nicely together. And the color combination, which you can't see, is very exceptional, but very important also for the people to have the right colors. If Pat would just turn now, I'd like to show you the fitting of this skirt. Uh, it's important that skirts fit down uh, past the hips. They can get in and out of this uh, wheelchair easier if they don't drag fabrics. <coughs> also, the skirt is full enough for them to step, uh, either with a crutch or over a brace, but it still fits her body figure, you see. There's not extra fabric there, it just simply fits. All for a fashion garment like this, it's very important that they fit, but also allow ease of movement for getting in and out of chairs and also for use of braces and crutches. Now, from winter we go to something that's <coughs> a little more light and summer wear with Beth Haas. Well, uh, Beth Haas is um, really wearing a very fresh looking garment, a light uh, green and light beige check a woven in check, which is extra special for ironing. You can iron with a grain line then and don't get the uh, garments out of uh, proportion. Uh, her belt allows for expansion there. It is used at the waistline with a bar and hook, uh, which could be made expandable, you see. And sometimes when women sit for a long time, they do need a little waist expansion there. This hook could be moved a little bit or the bar could be moved. Uh, it is a, a double-breasted, garment there, which I think a lot of the women uh, like. It gives a little bit more warmth in winter time, and the skirt allows for easy movement. However, this skirt too fits around the hips, which again is important so garments won't sag and drag. Now one of the features that I thought we would especially like to show is on a blouse, show an inset pleat <coughs> that would give you much more freedom. This blouse was designed by the United States Department of Agriculture, and can you tell us about this? Yes, I'd place? like to tell you about this because really it's quite simple, and I think the women might adapt this to uh, patterns which you buy on the market. Actually, as we stretch this underneath the arm now, this is just a true bias, and of course bias will stretch. Put in with a very small seam here on each edge of the bias. This would go into the uh, uh, seam allowance on the pattern. This gives extra ease here for reaching, both ways, up and down and crossways. And also when the blouse is being worn, this pleat simply does not show until you need it for extra stretch movement. May I call attention too to the lining in the bottom of this blouse, and this has been used in several of the blouses. We haven't always shown it to you, but it is a good idea to put a slippery fabric on the bottom of the blouse, which will go over the hip. It is the hips that catch the blouse and make it pucker and not go down in place. So a slippery fabric, I believe this one is rayon. You might find others though. Now, if we can go back to our models because it's extra fun to see these on the models. First, we see Clara Brown and she is in a garment that has also been designed by the United States Department of Agriculture in one of their early research projects. This is what we call an action blouse really because uh, it's cut so that uh, she can move her arms there Yes, this way, and in and out and, and to the front. It has an action feature in it. Now, another feature about this blouse, which we haven't talked about a great deal, but which I think you should uh, think about when you buy your fabrics, particularly for the handicap, when care is a factor. And this has a little texture in the blouse, which means that it doesn't show wrinkles quite as much as, as if it were a plain fabric. Wouldn't have to be pressed so much. Also, the feature at the end of the blouse over just above her wrist there, you will see that this is cut and designed especially for movement. If she'll move her arm upward, 
you'll see that this little overlap on the sleeve gives her this kind of ease or movement. It wouldn't be hard to launder. Now, Danelle Meyer is in what we would call a paprika wool two-piece outfit. It's a dress underneath with a jacket over the top. Yes, and just happens to be a very handsome color in this paprika because her hair repeats the color. We always emphasize the color when we repeat it. Uh, so uh, this was maybe designed especially for her, even though she isn't handicapped. A very nice princess design. Uh, princess designs have to have a good figure. Not everyone can wear this. It happens that she has this. The bust is filled out. Nice, uh, easy waistline, rather small, but very pretty, and a full flared skirt. These buttons down the back, if she could show them to you, are kind of extra special because the buttonholes are tailor-made. And these are bone buttons. We don't always have bone buttons on this, but for handicapped people, it's important that the button go in and out of the buttonhole without dragging. Uh, and the bone button will do this. This nice, easy fullness over the bust put in with this particular curve is rather exceptional because it takes a nice figure to, to wear it. We use darts an awful lot of times, but this is another way of getting ease uh, in over the bust fullness and yet have it fit very well. And Danelle, of course, is wearing a design from Helen Cookman. Now, a design that is uh, available for you from a catalog is being worn by Teresa Tapper. And Teresa Tapper is wearing a jumper that overlaps in the back. Uh, this is a, a blue uh, lightweight wool and with a figured uh, cotton, uh, easy to care for blouse. I think one feature of this blouse, again, would be the collar simply because not too many of us can wear that collar. It takes the rag rather regular features, not too full a neck with this round collar, and one that stands out from the throat some too. But just a, a very pretty one for a young person, I would say. A heavyweight person couldn't wear either one of these. But certainly this is an easy skirt, again, for braces or crutches, and I think the girls could handle it very well in a wheelchair if they needed to. Now, if Teresa could show her uh, sleeve, and the fact that it does not button, there is a button on the top, but it fastens with Velcro, and the side of the blouse is completely open. It uh, closes with Velcro so that, it, so that it is very easy to put on. It goes all the way from the full length underneath the blouse sleeve all the way down the side of her blouse. Now, another garment, since we mentioned wraparounds as the jumper, is a wraparound skirt that we'd like to show you that, too, is available from a catalog. This wraparound skirt just closes with a pressure tape here, and you'll hear it what you would call tearing, but of course it doesn't tear. This then lets the placket drop down, and this, uh, so that it's easy to get into. Uh, also, uh, there are no little buttons or buttonholes or hooks and eyes, that sort of closure, uh, for fingers that can't manipulate these small pieces of, of, uh, of accessories on a garment. We do have a tie here too, which uh, uh, can uh, add to this garment for uh, giving us more width and using the tie to reinforce the waistline here. If they wanted to expand this, it can be expanded with the pressure tape and also to keep it in place with a little tie. Now Joyce Dye is wearing a blue wool dress that is most attractive on her. Uh, open down the front, uh, as you see, way down below the waistline with a long line zipper. And this permits the women to either get this on over their heads easily, even when their arms are not in full use, or they might step into it from the uh, bottom if they wish to and pull it up over their knees. Uh, whichever uh, is the easiest for a handicapped person to do, I think, could be done with this outfit. You'll also notice that um, there are not very many frills on this garment, uh, simply because uh, the, the princess line itself is uh, what we're trying to feature. Also, the color uh, of the fabric is nice in this wool crepe. Ruth Schickel has on an all-occasion dress. And a, a very a pretty one uh, in a solid color, light blue, double-breasted there with buttons on uh, each side. So again, this could be expanded uh, if it's necessary. This. Uh, Notch collar kind of gives it the sailor look, which uh, is a fashion element too, uh, off and on, uh, on right now. 
uh, this garment would uh, be very nice to wear in the afternoon when she cleans up after a hard day's work. Also easy to get in and out of. And the closings are made of Velcro. Next is Pat Corey in what I'd call a peasant dress. And this zippers down the front, so it allows her to get in and out of this very easily if she's in a wheelchair. And uh, this would uh, give her a great deal of benefit. Extra movement across the shoulders there with elastic in, in that waistline uh, with the ease in it. Uh, if the ease stays in place, it's necessary for it to stay in place. Otherwise, the dress wouldn't fit. Ease around the waistline again with elastic. Now, as we go back to a jacket that we have on the table that shows you a pleat that gives extra fullness in the back. And uh, this is something that probably was used many years ago and could be used again very nicely for those who need extra movement in the clothing that they are wearing. There is also a pleat in the front, which I think is most attractive. And here again, gives you the necessary movement that you need if you're in a wheelchair or on crutches. Now, the handicap can look very well at home, too. Darlene Engelhart has on a evening skirt that can be worn for a long dinner skirt at home. The uh, blouse is most attractive. It has a gilt-edged buckle so that it is very easy for the handicapped person to manipulate with their fingers. And the long skirt, of course, is a very heavy fabric, and it is one that can be used to camouflage as well. Next to Darlene is Clara Brown, who is wearing a rather elegant hostess gown. This is purple silk, and it is a Siamese silk, and it is most beautiful, cut shorter in the front and longer in the back. We want to thank all of the ladies today for showing these clothes that have been designed specifically for the handicapped, and some of them available through a catalog. Others are by top dress designers. Opal Roberson is our Extension Specialist in Texas and Clothing here at Iowa State. We'll see you tomorrow with more on Clothes for the Handicapped.